Now we are going to study today Dirichlet theorem. So this is a very important theorem. I am writing this. This is very important in solving multiple integrals. So the theorem is, this is in x1 m1 minus 1, x2 m2 minus 1, x3 m3 minus 1 to xn mn minus 1. So this is helping you to evaluate the multiple integral in many cases. dx3 dxn. So this is the theorem. x1 m1 minus 1, x2 m2 minus 2, x3 m3 minus 1, xn mn minus 1, dx1 dx2 dx3 dxn is equal to gamma m1, gamma m2, gamma m3, gamma mn upon gamma m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus mn plus 1. See, this is very important, mn plus 1. People forget this. So, remember this thing. It is mn plus 1. Remember this part, right? Where the integral is extended to all positive values of the variables x1, x2, xn subject to the condition x1 plus x2 plus xn is less than or equal to 1. See, this Dirichlet theorem is very, very useful. I'll take an example and tell you how useful it is. Suppose you are given an integration. Evaluate the integral, triple integration, say dx, dy, dz over the region in a closed pi and ellipsoid, suppose. Suppose we have to solve this problem. See, here we have to convert this into Dirichlet condition. This is Dirichlet condition. In order to evaluate this, first we have to transform the variable such that this constraint, this surface, the equation of this surface, converts to this Dirichlet condition. Here we are finding out the volume or the triple integral over the region enclosed by this so the region is basically we have to find triple integral over this and since it is integrally extended only to a positive values of variables it will give you the triple integration only in one octant of the ellipsoid see uh, x1 let us first convert this into digital condition so for that we have to make a transformation x square by a square equal to x1 that will give you if i choose this that will give you x equals to ax1 half. So dx will give you a by 2x1 minus half dx1. Similarly, I can make a transformation of y also. So this is if I choose y square equal to b square, this is x2. So y is bx2 half or dy is b by 2 dx2. And z square c square is x3, so z is c by 2, so this is dz equal to c by 2, that is dx3. So these are, by this transformation, your x square by a square plus y square by b square this is the region over which we have to carry out integration it converts to x1 x2 x3 less than 1 if I draw it it will look like it will look like see earlier you had a ellipsoid earlier you had a ellipsoid let me draw these two right 
So this was your region. This was your ellipsoid. This is X, Y, Z. So your ellipsoid. So one octant of this ellipsoid. One octant means so let's say positive x, positive a, positive z. See it consists of eight octants. Four octant on the positive z axis, on the positive side of z axis, and four octant on the negative side of the z axis. So one of the octant, this is x1, x2, x3. So one octant converts to this, this kind of thing, pyramid. One octant is transformed to this region, this region, right? So, so the digital theory is valid only for x1, x2, x3 being positive. It means it will give you the double integral over the first octant only. So this octant is transformation of the one octant of the ellipsoid. So by digital theorem, you'll be able to find triple integral only over one octant and since the, the region is symmetric so I can say the triple integration over the whole ellipsoid will be eight times the triple integration over one octant. So this is how we can do it by using the Richler theorem. All right so let me put all these things in the integral. The integral was dx dy dz. All right so it will convert to if you put everything over here it will be a b c by 8 x1 x1 minus half can be written like this and x3 dx1 dx2 dx3 so this becomes a b c by 8 m1 is 1 half m2 is half m3 is half and m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus 1 is going to be 5 upon 2 so finally what do you get you get a b c by 8 pi 1 by 2 this will be 3 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 all right so this will cancel out and what if it is 1 by 8 of 4 by 3 pi abc so for the whole ellipsoid your triple integration becomes 8 times the integral over 1 octant so this will finally come as 4 by 3 pi abc so this is nothing but volume see this is a volume of ellipsoid. This is dx dy dz is volume. Right? This is the definition of the volume. So volume of ellipsoid comes to be 4 by 3 pi abc. See the usual method of integration would have taken a long time, like putting limits of z, then y, then x, and then integrating it. So this is very easy. This is very easy to solve it by digital theorem. So now we can take another problem on this. So what we have to solve this problem. Evaluate triple integration x, y, z, dx, dy, dz taking throughout the ellipsoid this so this is very similar to last problem here also we will have the same substitution we can convert x square by x a square we can take it as x1 x will be ax1 half and dx is going to be dx1 and uh, similarly you can write y square b square equals to x2 y equals to b by 2 sorry not b by 2 it's b x2 half and dy is b by 2 x2 1 by 2 dx2 similarly I can convert z square also this will give me z equals to c x3 1 by 2 and dz can be written as c by 2 x3 minus 1 by 2 dx3 so now this integral 
so your domain this converts to this is getting converted to x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than 1 so the integral will convert to xyz dx dy dz will get converted to a b c y a 8 sorry this will be something else say so this is equal to first we'll have to write x so x is a x 1 half y is b x 2 half and z is c x 3 half and dx dy dz is a b c by 8 x 1 minus half x 2 minus half so this is dx1 dx3 so this will become equal to a square b square c square upon 8 this is x1 1 minus 1 x2 1 minus 1 this is x3 1 minus 1 dx1 dx2 dx3 so this will be equal to a square b square c square by 8 gamma 1 gamma 1 gamma 1 upon gamma 4 so this becomes equal to a square b square c square 1 by 8 into 3 factorial that is 6 so this is integral over 1 octet so the whole integral x y z dx dy dz is going to be this is only over one octant so this is 8 times 1 by 8 so this comes out to be so this is 6 because 6 this is your answer so you can do it very easily using digital theorem otherwise it would have been a bit lengthy so it is straightforward by using digital theorem